Uh, hi everyone, in this video tutorial lesson what we're going to learn is how you can take a picture and fill up text with a picture. It is a very nice beautiful effect which is different from all the other effects that you use on text. So as you can see on the slide now, we have two text boxes, one on the top and one on the bottom. The top text box is filled with solid color or blue color text and the bottom one is filled with a picture. How do we do that? So let's select the text again right click and choose the format text effects option and now I have text options chosen here and I go and choose the fill and outline tab go to the text fill option make sure picture or texture fill is selected choose the file option and then let me go and choose the location where I have pictures and uh, uh, I could use any picture which has got a nice effect, maybe something of this sort. And let's go and choose OK and you can see it's filled up with a picture. Now the picture is totally stretched and squished over here because what PowerPoint is doing is trying to fill the entire text area with the entire picture, which is not what we want. So to correct that, we can select the text here again, right click and choose Format Text Effects, which gets the same pane which we already had go back to the fill and outline and over here choose the option that says style picture as texture and now you can see you get a different effect over there and this actually will take the top area of the picture so you let, let's go and experiment with uh, a picture that has got more different contrast and more colors so I'm going to leave that out choose file and now I'm going to choose a picture that has got more colors, maybe something of this sort. And now you can see there are more colors there. But again, even here, I can go and choose the option as a tile picture as texture and takes the top part. And you can still see the difference over there. Now this works out great with just text which you want to be filled with a picture, but it works out even better when you have a picture and then you have text on top of the picture fill with the same picture to make you understand that better let's go and actually go and do it for all of you and see how it works out look at this picture it's distinctly different from a lot of other pictures that you see because what you have here is two distinct areas of color you have black of the hills and the silhouettes over there and then you have the orangish yellow grayish part of the sky and these uh, show two different color families which are placed on the same picture and they contrast very well with each other now, if I have some text which is on the black hills over there, so maybe this is the text we have. I'm going to copy it and paste it here and place it on top of the hills, okay? And I want to fill this up with a picture. And how do I do it? I want to fill it with the same picture. And that picture is in my PowerPoint slide already, so I really don't need to go and find out a location for this picture or save it as a picture from PowerPoint and use that as a fill. I can easily use the clipboard to get the picture into the text. How do we do that? Let me show it to you. The first thing you do is right click the slide over here and say duplicate slide. You could also use the control D keyboard shortcut if you use Windows and command D if you're on the Mac. And now I have this picture over here. I can select this picture, go to picture tools format, choose a crop option and crop the picture to, to show only the area which I want to use as a fill over there. And let me click somewhere out over there. So now I have that area. I can right click this and say copy or choose the command C, control C, keyboard shortcut depending if I'm a Mac or Windows and come back to the original slide, select the text that I have over here, right click again and choose format text effects, go to text options, outline and fill and line, go and choose the picture or texture fill. At this point of time, I'm not going to choose the file option but I'm going to choose clipboard because we have copied the picture that we need for the fill to the clipboard. And there you go. And there you can see the effect. The picture and the text about the picture share the same fills. And it sort of gives a very unified appearance to the whole slide. 